Hello, this is me, Daniel East 1000, back again with another video. I can only apologise that it's been three weeks since my last upload. As you can see, we've got lots of boxes stacked up, and we are seemingly in a new, new location, because I've moved to a new flat, hence why the lack of uploads, because I've been busy unpacking, sorting things out. It's It's been a bit mad, to be honest, and... I just thought I'd give you a bit of an update of things. Always seems like an update thing at the minute, but we'll, we'll get there. We will get into doing reviews and stuff like that. I just thought I'd share a couple of bits and pieces that I've picked up recently that are kind of cool. I did get that Chewbacca Vandor 1 exclusive that's been showing up at Entertainer. Only problem is it's hidden in there somewhere, but I, I did manage to get that one. I'm pretty damn stoked to have him. But not only that, Entertainer got in quite a few more bits and pieces, most notably the Ray vs Kylo Ren San Diego Comic Con exclusive, uh, what do you call them, these centrepieces, that's it, I've got a Luke Skywalker on there, but the big San Diego Comic Con Ray vs Kylo Ren centrepiece, they've got that in at an insanely good price. I've not been tempted to get it yet. I don't know if I will get it, I'm umming and ahhing it. But there's been other bits and pieces that they've been getting in. Like this Kylo Ren. I already have the standard single card Kylo Ren. And I have to admit, this one is a bit better. Due to the head sculpt and loads of other bits and pieces, I might do a comparison review at some point and show him with the uh, Snoke on a throne as well because he does come with the display stand to go with that and it connects up and it's, it's really cool, I've done it, it looks awesome. For 15 quid I bit the bullet and I've, for some reason though, unknown to anyone, Entertainer has decided to jack the price up on this along with the Ray crate figure which is like the same sort of deal as this where you get a display stand and the figure um, but not only that I think the main thing that people have been going a little bit nuts for is vintage collection entertainer has got I believe is it wave 2 I can't keep up with vintage collection I have no clue about waves because it's not really interested me too much and that's mainly because I haven't been able to find it at retail aside from the first wave which I managed to get at the Disney store because they've been selling them a lot of them cheap. I think this is the second wave and they've been they've been getting them for a really good price. £5 each for a figure. The only problem has been tracking them down. Although now that's not really a problem because I think entertainers just had a boatload come in. But yeah, for while I was looking for them within the first few weeks it was difficult. But I've persistently been phoning up all the entertainers in my area saying, have you got them in? Have you got them in? No, not yet, not yet, until one day I get an answer and they're like, yeah, we have. And I kind of mad dash it down there. And I'm just like, can you hold a case of them for me? I, I, I'm I, not one to buy a full case. Um, I technically didn't buy the full case, but we'll get to that in a moment. But um, yes, uh, kind of went a bit, a bit nuts there. The reason why I didn't buy the entire case is because... Um, I did actually find one of the figures just on the off chance and it was uh, Cassian. The only thing is I didn't realise was the fact that you do get two range troopers. Um, so I've got one uncarded and one carded I guess. Um, I didn't realise until I got home. I'm not one to like multi-buy things. I like people to have at least a bit of a chance. That doesn't really matter now I guess because that store's just had a ton of them come in, so. Anyway, what you get in the case is Enfy's Nest. This is what Vintage Collection's about, or was at least when it was about back in 2012, 2013. To me at least, looking at it in the packaging, embody what the Vintage Collection was about. Them accessories, all that stuff. For some reason, Star Wars figures just don't seem to come with the accessories at the moment like they used to. And this kind of harks back to that goodness that Vintage Collection had, and this, I must admit, a lot of these figures are kind of pulling me back to 334 inch because I've been going a bit 6 inch mad recently, but um, yeah, the card artwork on that is beautiful, the figure's great, um, we've even got the Star Wars Solo Story logo at the top there, which is so cool, I love it, of course we've got Han, um, really nice packaging, I 
heard that they kind of had to make it up on the spot a bit though so that's why it looks a bit a bit um, artist inspired which I'm fine with I like that it's mainly because they didn't know how the Falcon was going to look in the film Dr. Afra, I'm kind of really wanting that San Diego Comic Con exclusive one they did where you got the droids with her I don't know why they haven't released the droids in 334 inch I wish Hasbro would put a bit more trust in droids to sell because it does feel a bit weird that she's just on her own she needs to have a droid they need to come as a free really but um, the card artwork on her is really cool and retro I'm not overly familiar with the character I've got some of her comics I've just got to get around to reading about them but um, she seems to be a bit of a fan favourite at the moment uh, she looks kind of different kind of quirky of course Range Trooper which we've kind of been through whoops um i could have probably left that one at the store if i knew but hey anyway, um, i'll take one i'll take one to keep on card luke this one was the one that i mainly wanted and i think i am going to keep this one carded for show because it just looks cool and i really like that last shot at the end of the uh, force awakens even though for some reason that's the last jedi logo at the top i would have preferred it if it was force awakens just wish it came with some accessories because just the cloak is a bit naff. Could have done with coming of a pog or something. I don't know. But still looks great on that card. And last. Um, which I kind of forgot was even in the case to be honest. Ah. Uh, Imperial Assault Tank Driver. He's, he's kind of cool I guess. Uh, looks pretty sweet. It's just weird because I know they're doing the Tank Commander. But for some reason they've got the Tank Commander as this guy's card, uh, which is really bizarre to me. It kind of feels a little bit ill thought through, but I would love to get the Tank Commander. And that would kind of make the Hover Tank very, very tempting because they have done a 3 3 4 inch Hover Tank and it looks awesome. The only problem is the price just really puts me off at least. So yeah some really really cool figures there um, and for £5 each you can't really grumble at that especially given that they're super articulated. Really pleased with those pickups. I will be doing more videos. Bear with me. Things are a little bit crazy at the moment. But that's my little haul. I will try and get around to reviewing those at some point for you. Some of this stuff as well. I have ideas. Stuff will be coming. Let me know if you've been able to pick any of these figures up from the entertainer. Or if you live in the other parts of the world. What's your stance on vintage collection? Because it's taken me a while to actually get any of them. Because they've just not been available. But as soon as they were available and have gone on discount, I've gone a bit nuts. So, yeah, let me know. And this is me, Daniel Eastman Fowles, and just putting out a quick video for you there. Signing out, and thank you very much for watching.